September 17, 1976, Enterprise leaves the hangar. Originally intended to be named Constitution, it was supposed to be unveiled on Constitution Day, September 17. However, many fans of the Star Trek series wrote to President Gerald Ford asking that it be named after the ship from the series, the USS Enterprise. The President agreed and asked NASA to change the name. The series creator, Gene Roddenberry, and most of the show's actor was invited to the ceremony. The shuttle later served for atmospheric tests, being launched from a specially modified Boeing 747. It was incapable of space flight as it lacked engines and thermal shields. Initially, it was planned for the Enterprise to be refitted to become the second operational shuttle after Columbia, but technological advancement made it cheaper to build a new shuttle Challenger from another base structure. Similarly, the Enterprise was considered as a replacement after the Challenger disaster. But once again, instead of refitting it, NASA constructed Endeavour using spare parts built alongside Discovery and Atlantis. The Enterprise was also used for testing after the Columbia disaster and was later exhibited at various museums. Today, it is on display at the Entrepid Museum, which is housed aboard the aircraft carrier Entrepid in New York Harbor.